we want to prepare for life. You know, we want to be most challenging uh, for the kids to push them on to the next level. But as well, in that challenge, mean we have to be caring. How can we support every single individual to live up to the expectations, really, and support them in, in, in every aspect of their personal individual development? Our vision, Strong Young Gunners, is, is, is perfect in that sense of that. We have a lot of individuals here, we want to build them up strong, that they can stand up strong in every challenge they face. That can be mental health in regarding to being released from, from this club, being injured and struggling at home. Um, so we, we're trying to put everything in place here to make sure that there's an open forum for mental health. The amount of pressure these youngsters are facing at a very young age is immense. So it's our job, you know, to always raise that you know to ourselves to bring perspective really to life and to to the to our young kids who, who are part of our academy it is it is tough because of the nature of the football world but we want to make sure that we put perspective in it have reality checks um, along the way and make sure that we have yeah humble individuals as i said strong young gunners who are able to steer you know their their journey and their path but they always know that there's someone to support, someone to help. Yeah, so one of the biggest challenges we have in helping young men is to talk about their mental health and to talk about how they feel. That's something that gets often avoided and can be underpinning how they behave and how they think and act. A regular conversation with the player often surrounds, how are you? And they go, I'm fine, I'm calm, and they walk off. Academy Island is a metaphor. It's something that was constructed with the players and staff to a common language that everyone can talk about in regards to emotional literacy. It gives something that other people can have a conversation about. And we decided to draw up literally an island and then say if you were to populate it with a number of different geographical places, but that could refer to situations or emotions or feelings, where would they be on the island and what would the island have as part of it? From having an idea on a whiteboard with coloured pens, we got our designers in to help us put it in a far more visual form. It's magnetic and everyone got a magnet and then they're able to put themselves somewhere and move themselves around the map. At the top, the Bay of Plenty, that's where when you get a new contract, it's when your friends and family are all there, there's a real influx of money and you've got the life really. Everyone is singing and talking about you. People tend to go on a comfort cruise often when they get there. Unfortunately, that doesn't go all the way to the island of opportunity, which is what they assume, because the reality is on this map, the helicopter pad, that's the manager, and that's what gets you across to the first team. You know, it's quite a, a, a tough experience going through something. You see your mates doing really well, and January's come up, and you know, you've got players going alone and pushing up with the first team, and so you can find yourself, you know, one day, you're on Mount Challenge, then suddenly you're back in head loss and then you're back at Mount Challenge. And yeah. So it's nice to be able to sort of look at the map and, and realise where you are and sort of move locations. Sometimes if you're in head loss, you can put yourself back on Mount Challenge and yeah, yeah go from there. So I'm, I'm just on the edge of returning. Um, I still say, yeah, I'm there at Mount Challenge and yeah, hopefully get back to playing soon. It's really important players work out where are they at the moment. So if there's been a lot of change, we've got winds of change over here, we've got a lot of sort of geographical things, that can create sort of confusion and it can create head loss. So again, it's really important players go, do you know what, that is honestly where I am, but I know where I need to get to or how I'm gonna get there. And then this map has got highs and lows, but it's got a very low point on it as well. We have off the map, that's our, reference point for mental health there and that's the point where we want someone to reach out for help. We want teammates to notice in with each other and we want them to tell us. I would say at times the, the island is fun so therefore that takes away some of the stigma or the seriousness of it because we use it to have fun. What it does do is start more conversations regularly with groups of them that they might then take down to the changing room or to another setting. Even adults, even at that time when I struggled before games and I was not really comfortable with the situation, I was always trying to think that it shows a weakness in yourself, you know, uh, speaking about yourself, seeking help. Um, we're trying to get rid of that notion and trying to make sure that bringing out more stories about, about myself, about others, bringing 
bringing people into more attention that top athletes struggle. It's normal, you know, we're trying to bring it to life in a, in a, in a normal possible way and have encouraged youngsters, you know, to speak up and speak out uh, no matter what, because we are a club that cares. And if you want to be most caring, we need to support in every given moment.